634, our back to school coverage continues this morning. It is one of the great education debates. Should schools start later as students get older? East Greenwich is now the first public school district in the state to shift its middle and high school start times in response to studies that say those students would benefit from sleeping in. Administrators are hoping an extra 30 minutes in the morning will lead to a more successful learning environment. For secondary students in the town of East Greenwich, the school day is going to start a full 30 minutes later than it did last year. Middle and high school students will now be jumping into their schoolwork at 8 a.m. The research is very clear. Kids need sleep. They need to be there. Sleep, you know, they, we need to start later so that they get better sleep and they can be more successful. That part was easy for us to grapple with. Not as easy to grapple with the cost difference. The district has to hire more drivers and pay for additional buses to support the shift change. It will cost the district an additional $90,000 a year, a price tag that would have been higher had they not saved money with their kindergarten classes moving to an all-day schedule. So while East Greenwich is making the shift change, we wanted to know which districts start even earlier and which ones allow the students to hit the snooze button a few more times. We checked with all of Rhode Island's high schools. North Kingstown, Burrowville, and Cumberland have some of the earliest start times at 7.15 a.m. Students in Woonsocket and in a few Providence schools get to start at 8 or later. The Academy of Pediatrics recommends that middle and high schools delay the start of class to 8.30 or later after finding that adolescents who don't get enough sleep often suffer physical and mental health problems, an increased risk of auto accidents, and a decline in academic performance. If they're getting the sleep... Even Superintendent Victor Mercuro admits logistics and costs can be a challenge. But in the end, after some site visits to Sharon High School, which had success shifting start times, and a committee to study the impact... East Greenwich decided later is better. It's a small community and when school starts and the buses run and kids are walking to school and it comes alive every morning, it's going to come alive a little bit later than it normally does. So um, it'll be exciting to see what that looks like. So we'd like you to join the conversation. Do you want your child's school district to follow in East Greenwich's footsteps and start the school day later? Are the extra Z's worth a disruption to your current schedule? We'll head to our WPR 12 Facebook page to tell us what you think. And I have to tell you, Patrick, uh, according to our superintendent survey, yeah. uh, a, a few of these superintendents have said that they do want to do that. I know in Cumberland, they talked about it as a possibility. And in Barrington, they actually have already explored it and are planning to implement uh, a change in the start time for the next school year. I don't think it's a bad idea. You know, a perfect example, last night my son didn't get home from hockey practice until quarter of 10. Right. And, you know, kids with their activities, I know we overschedule our kids, yeah. a lot of us. Keep them, keep them busy in the afternoon and in the evening, but, you know, they're getting home later and later. They get more homework, so a little extra sleep will do all of us a little good. And, you know, and according <laughs> to the schools that have done it for years, they do see increased student yeah. performance. So it'll be interesting to see how East Greenwich makes out. And well, uh, increased teacher performance. Exactly. They get to well. start they the day a little later, too. A little more well-rested. All right. Our back-to-school coverage continues all morning and again tonight starting live at 5. So here's a look at what's still ahead this morning. 7 a.m., back to school shopping. The average family expected to spend about 10% more on supplies and clothes this year. Advice on how to lower your bill and stay on budget. And then this morning at 8 a.m., Warwick Mayor Scott Avedish is going to be live in studio. There is so much to talk about in the city of Warwick right now. Uh, the newly consolidated district, the changes with all the schools, the traffic in Appenog. We're going to ask him all about it coming up at 8 a.m. And at 9 o'clock on the road show here on WPRI 12, what parents are stressing out about the most as their children head back to class.